friends over at Skyree Filters sent us these. They're neutral density hybrid polarized filters for the DJI Mini 2. And this is not sponsored. Um, so anything in my review that I'm gonna do about them will be my own words. I'm not paid to, to say that they're great. They may be, we'll find out. So I will give you my honest opinion and I hope that it helps somebody else out because they are a little bit more budget friendly than some of the other options out there. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'm excited to check them out and I'm excited to share it with you. $46.99 on Amazon through Skyreach's uh, web store on there. So for those of y'all that are budget oriented, um, that's definitely a plus in that category for you. I'm definitely budget oriented, so you know that's definitely something I always look for. Um, that and the overall quality of, of that budget. So sometimes it's not worth it, sometimes it is. Um, we'll see. Next on the list will be the build quality. These are constructed from aluminum, so they're not near as fragile as some of the plastic alternatives out there. Um, they feel good, uh, they latch on like they're supposed to. So I can't honestly say that I have any complaints in that aspect. They're very similar to you know some of the other good quality ones out there. Um, they also use 18 layers of multi-coated glass. So for those of y'all out there on the, the glass quality, they're, they're not bad. So definitely something to keep in mind. <coughs> Next, you know, I would like to talk about <coughs> the overall image quality. I know a lot of people have concerns about vignetting up in the corners. Um, from what I saw, my own testing I didn't didn't have any of that occur and I don't know maybe people are just you know spinning the 
the polarizer just a little too far or going overboard with it, which some variable ones, they will do that. I know I have a Kodak one for my main camera and it does that. Uh, so, you know, in the video I show where I usually turn mine up to about 12 o'clock, one o'clock, and it seems to do pretty good. It cuts through the water. Uh, I ain't really had any issues out of that. Outside of that, it's just a matter of, you know, picking the right one for, you know, the time of day that you're shooting in. And when you're installing it, you need to make sure that you put it in the outer two ridges. And whenever you pull it down, make sure it, it snaps in place. If not, you could experience the, the gimbal shake that a lot of people have complained about. I, again, personally never experienced it. Just make sure that you properly, you know, install it and seat it, and you shouldn't have any problems. With all of that being said, and, you know, testing them like I have, and I'll be testing them more. So, you know, if you want to check back, I'll definitely have more videos around this content. But would I recommend these to anybody? Most definitely, you know, um, if you need filters, uh, I know a lot of people say, you don't need them, you don't need them. Well, you know, if you want to keep from getting that jitter in the, the corners of, of your video when you're doing a pan or, you know, a tilt or an orbit, you know, stuff like that, you need them in order to create that that motion blur in the corner so it's not as rough to the, to the eye. So, you know, if you're on a tight budget, I would highly recommend these, even if you're not on a tight budget. I personally, I don't feel like you can go wrong with them. I'll be using them, you know, from here on out whenever I go fly my drones. So I hope that I answered your questions. Um, if you have any more, drop them down in the comment below. And, you know, if we get enough stuff that I might not have covered in this, we'll make another video. So, you know, drop a like. If you found it helpful, you know, hit the subscribe button. Everything helps this channel. You know, it helps us pick up on the algorithm. That helps get this, this content out to other people who need it. So thank you. Y'all have a good day.